Well, a very good evening and thanks for clicking on to the Tuesday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. It's the 8th of August and we maintain this rather disappointing summer theme, that's for sure. Uh, low pressure continues to rule over the British Isles. The good news for northern parts of the UK has been that we've seen a little bit more in the way of sunshine through this afternoon. Temperatures reaching 21 Celsius just to the west of Glasgow but uh, further south and east across the Midlands and into the southeast of England. It's been rather disappointing. Cloudy, outbreaks of rain, thundery rain and some very heavy pulses embedded within our frontal system. Uh, low pressure over the north of France, a uh, frontal system kind of curling its way in from the northeast over the southern half of the British Isles and keeping things rather messy here. But further, so further north, sorry, it has been fairly warm in the sunshine. Further south, uh, conditions have been a little bit more unsettled and cooler and the reason why as you can see here is that this is the jet stream and 850 millibar temperature uh, depiction here and you can see here responsible for this the, the, the intense heat across southern parts of Europe is we've got this big bulge of high pressure here so it's lifting the jet stream all the way up into Greenland, Iceland and then taking this nose dive right down into Iberia here and we've been seeing active showers and thunderstorms triggered as the frontal system associated with the area of low pressure over the northern France has now pushed in over the uh, Spanish costas and the Balearics. And what we are going to eventually see is this trough pushing east. Uh, what is interesting, however, is that while we've seen temperatures uh, once again reaching the low 40s across parts of Italy and the Balkan region into the southeast of Europe here, what we are seeing, however, is a strengthening of the jet stream here on the North America side of the Atlantic, and that is going to basically reconfigure the jet. Now, if you had a chance to read the, the post from last night, you would see that here, that we do eventually have the change. Now, it's it's uh, the seeds of change is being sown over the Western Atlantic, over Newfoundland with a stronger jet here. Eventually this trough that has been continuing to dig further south, that will eventually start to slide east and it will basically flatten the jet out. And by the time we reach the early part of next week, folks, we're going to have low to the north, high to the south, and uh, a more westerly zonal jet stream here. So unfortunately for Scotland, for Northern Ireland and the north of England, Looks as if it's going to maintain a fairly unsettled, fairly mobile pattern. Further south, you've got a better chance of seeing sunshine and warmer conditions. And for the southern portion of Europe, rather than seeing our air getting picked up with the influence of this trough out of the western Sahara Desert, across the Mediterranean, and into the southern half of Europe, we're going to see a more typical area of high pressure with more typical temperatures as a response to that over this region of the world here so as you continue to see this unfold there's that strong jet starting to kind of push the trough dig it south removing the heat from the western mediterranean then it eventually starts to push eastwards and it removes the heat from the central portion of uh, of southern europe now notice that here by the time we get to the weekend look at how it starts to see much fresher air pushing in now, this is obviously temperatures that hit 850 millibars or 5,000 feet, of course, but it represents a cooler, fresher air mass. The core of the heat weakens as it pushes towards Turkey. So as we push through the weekend and in the next week, you notice here that we have a very different upper air pattern. Now, we've got plenty of heat over the, northern, <coughs> the northwestern Sahara and also across the Middle East. But notice here that we have got much, much uh, fresher conditions across the southern half of Europe. But of course, we've got areas of low pressure that will ride this jet stream across the Atlantic, keeping things rather unsettled, uh, even almost autumnal across the northern half of the UK. But across the south, heat from Spain, heat from France will make uh, some attempt at, uh, at pushing the southern part of uh, the UK here. But a more typical upper air pattern as we go through next week and i think we are going to fairly uh, remain fairly cool fairly unsettled 
And you notice here by the time we skip out to the end of the week according to the GFS, we've got this rather weird jet pattern. One branch goes across the Atlantic, the other branch gets away way up towards Greenland here. So it's a kind of weird, wacky configuration. But we're starting to see that trough diving back into the southwestern portion of Europe. Very hot conditions across say uh, Algeria, across say uh, Tunisia may try to push back into the southern half of Europe as we start to see this trough dig. It may be uh, <coughs> more confined, confined the southern parts of Italy, uh, Sicily, into Greece, Turkey, rather than lifting into the Balkan region and the, into the central uh, portion of Europe here. So uh, that remains to be seen, but it does look as if we are going to maintain this unsettled theme across the northern half of the UK. So make the most of today, make the most of tomorrow, because it will go downhill towards the end of the work working week. Hope you have a great Tuesday evening. Uh, we're back in the next few days. Bye for now.